Hey, my name is SK83, and here are my custom MIDI mapping skills on the DJM S11. There are some functions that are not on the first layer of the mixer, but I have to have fast access to it. I need sync all the time, so I have the sync button mapped to the parameter buttons here on the mixer. So my tracks stay in sync. With shift and the same button, I can turn it off. Right next to the sync button with the parameter button that show inside, I can turn off the master tempo or the key lock. And I can turn it back on. What also comes in really handy is if I press shift and the inside parameter buttons, I can key sync tracks to each other. And I can turn it off again by hitting the same combination again. In my set, I work with, with the loop in and out buttons and shift. I can scroll through my loops. And with shift and auto loop, I can easily turn saved loops on and off. I have mapped silent cue to the back button so I can mute a playing track and bring it back in by hitting a cue point. It makes it really easy to enable silent cue without moving to any other layer on the mixer. If you hit the sampler button four times in a row, you end up in user mode. And in user mode, I have mapped functions for deck three and deck four. So if I use deck move to copy a track from deck one to deck three, I can control it with this user bank. I have five cue points. I have start and stop to stop the playback or start it. I have a sync button so I can push it in time with all the other tracks that are playing over here. And I have this button mapped to unload the deck so it frees up the deck again and nothing is playing no more. Comes in really handy when you wanna stop a track and free up the deck. Every part of the mixer is MIDI mappable so you can get really creative with all the knobs and pads on this unit.